Hi! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to compare two Excel files. Now, the situation that I'm going to show you specifically has to do with a mismatch of data between the vendor card and the vendor address card. In my scenario, I've imported data uh, for both the addresses and the vendors. Maybe I did a direct record import, and I'm a little worried that there might be some discrepancies between the two. Of course, we know GP would not let that happen if I was manually entering the data, but if you're importing it directly, that could happen. So how can I compare the data? And I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do this. We're gonna do this using an Excel tool called Inquire. But first we must get our data. So I'm in Excel 2016. I'm gonna to go to Get Data, and I'm going to choose to get data from my database, my SQL database. And when it prompts me, I'll enter in the name of my SQL server and the name of my database. And I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So the first thing you wanna know is your Excel files need to match exactly, meaning the columns have to be in exactly the same order and they really should have the same name, although that's not quite as critical here. So the record I wanna get is PM00200, that's my vendor maintenance file. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and I only wanna compare eight columns here. And of course, Query Editor open on a different window. Now I started out with 108 columns. I do not need that many. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose columns and I'll unselect and I'm gonna choose the vendor ID. I wanna choose the address ID, the primary address ID. And I wanna choose the contact name. And since I'm pulling this directly from the SQL database from the table, you could see that the field names aren't always that easy to do. I'll grab city, state, zip, country, and I also want UPS code. So let me find UPS zone. So now I should end up with eight columns. And I want to make note that of the column, where these are in the column, because it's gonna be very important that UPS is the last column, for example. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just change the type of all of these to text. They're all text fields, and I wanna make sure that they appear in the Excel worksheet as text. So I'll go ahead and click close and load. And now I have my Excel table. I'm just gonna rename this to PM00200. So when I'm doing my compare, I'll be able to tell which table this is looking at. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now I need to do the exact same thing for the PM 00300. So I'm going to go in and first create a new Excel table, uh, Excel worksheet, and I'm going to connect and get the same columns. Now, before I send this to Excel, because in the other table, this is just a GP thing. I specifically was looking at the primary address ID. So I wanna make sure I get the primary address ID over here. So I'm gonna go in and select just the primary address ID. So now that brings me down to 94 records and now I'm gonna close and load that. Okay, great. And let me save it, great. Let me go back to the 200 address file, because you'll notice that even though I selected primary address ID, some of them don't have those. So I wanna get rid of any of the ones with a blank in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that query back up and remove any with a blank. And now I have 94 once again. Now the other thing we need to do, we've got our columns exactly the same. We wanna make sure that the record is appearing on the row in the same spot. For example, we wanna make sure that Beaumont construction is always on row eight, for example. So what I'm gonna do is just sort by vendor ID, that moves Beaumont construction to row nine. And now let me look in the other file and sort by vendor ID and Beaumont Construction is on row nine, and both have the same number of records. So now I can let Excel do a comparison of cell by cell. So what I'm gonna do is choose Inquire, and I'm going to do a compare files. And I'm gonna compare my address ID file to my vendor file. And when I do this, and it opens up another window, there we go. So now what you're seeing is, let me stretch this out a bit, 
years in. Stretch this down. You're seeing this is oh, this is 200. I should have renamed that to 300. So this is my 300. This is my 200. And anything that's different is highlighted in green. So for example, the uh, title itself has a different name. That's okay. I mean, I don't care about the title, but I do care about the UPS zone. So you notice UPS zones are blank here. And over here they have values. And if I were to scroll down here on row 85, is blank for the contact and over in 300 on row 85 I have the contact name Bob Jones so I could see all of those and I could see here specifically what the variances are so I could work on changing them and just to make it easier I'll go ahead and click on export results and it's going to copy this into a different sheet and here is the variant sheet that was populated now I don't want to see the differences in the workbook itself so when I close that out, I can see uh, where it is, which cell specifically, and on which worksheet uh, it's comparing. What is the old value? What is the new value? So basically, this should have said PM300. This is the sheet in PM00300. This is the value in PM00200. Um, in this case, the data came from GP, so I don't need to worry about that. So now I'm looking specifically at the discrepancies. I really don't care about the title being different. So now I'm down to just three differences and I can see specifically what cell they're in so I could take control of my data. If you do not see Inquire here, this is Excel 2016. Simply go to File, Options, Add-ins, change the ma uh, Manage from Excel Add-ins to Com Add-ins and then click on the box and you should be able to get it. Hope this helps.